Hi, and welcome to the Calculus 2 lecture series. And um, we are working on the unit number four for the Calculus 2 is a sequence and the series. This is our lecture number 19. So in this lecture, the first part, we are going to talk about the alternating series. So the first part of this lecture, we're going to define what is the alternating series and now how do we test an uh, alternating series is converging or diverging? And also after we show a series is converging, then how do we estimate the sum of this converging series? All right, so the second part of this lecture, uh, 19, we're going to talk about uh, based on the alternating series, what is absolute convergence and what is a conditional convergence here? Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, go to our lecture notes here. Okay, so like we talk about, so this is the alternating series, the part number one. So in the in this uh, first part, the key concept we're going to talk about uh, is the definition. of alternating series. So what is the alternating series here? And then the second thing is just like we did for the previous few lectures, after you prove a series is converged, how do you estimate the sum, right? So here we do the same thing. We want to see how do we estimate the sum of a conversion alternating series here. Okay, so uh, alternating series, so the, we know uh, alternating series, uh, let's mean uh, has a uh, successive term okay, of opposite sign. Okay, so the, so let me uh, so you can write in the two forms, all right? Okay, so the first thing is here, be careful. So we know the alternating series is has the opposite sign. So for every successive, Term. That means it's a one negative, one positive, one negative, one positive. So the way we write out an alternating series, this is what we can do so here. We say n is equal to one to infinity. Now you can say this is negative one to the n minus one and uh, a n. Or you can write like this one. So you can say n is equal to one to the infinity. Then you can say this is a negative one to the nth power and uh, this is a n. And here we know the a n greater than zero, so here. So whenever you see these terms here, right? Negative one to the power, negative one to like n's power, that means they are alternating. That means one is a positive, one is a negative. So like for this ones here, negative one to the n's power. So this one, so for example, when n equal to one, one minus one is zero, right? So a one is positive. Now, when the n equal to two, two minus one is one. So negative one to the first power is negative. So a two is, a, you know, is a minus a two, then plus a three minus a four, right? Da, 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 da. So if you do like this way, that means that your first term is positive, and then the next term is negative. And so now for this one's here, right? So for this one's here, when a is equal to one, so the negative one to the first power. So that means that the a one is a positive, negative. Then when a equal to two, negative one to the square is a positive, right? So a two is positive. And then the a three, right? So a four. So 
is just the same like we did for the previous term. So it depends on how do you write it. If your first term is positive, then you can write n minus one. If your first term is negative, then you can write just the nth terms here. All right. So now for the alternating series test, how do we show a series is uh, uh, this series is a converging series. And alternating series, in fact, is a pretty, I like the test, it's a very simple test to see here. So we say, in here, we say if the AN, okay, is a decreasing, <coughs> is a decreasing sequence and, uh, with a n greater than zero here for all the n. And uh, we have a limit n approach to infinity a n equal to zero. And then we know the summation n from one to infinity this one negative one to the n minus one a n here. We know this is a converge. All right, so a few things, let's be careful see here. The first thing is here, you know, this sequence is here, right? A n has to be a decreasing sequence. It's a positive decreasing sequence for all the n. So if the a n approach to zero, then, the this alternating series is going to converge here. And uh, do not uh, confuse. When we talk about uh, like in the few lecture back, right? So we talk about the divergent test. So in that time we say, if you have a series n from one to infinity, like something like this. So we say, if the limit n approach to infinity a n, is not equal to zero, then the, this series is a what? Is a diverges, right? Then we also say if the limit n approach to infinity a n equal to zero is does not, right? So does not guarantees, right? Does not imply summation a n is uh, converged, right? So be careful, don't, don't get uh, confused here because if you take a look here, when we talk about here, we talk about the series a n. It's not the alternating series. So that's why for the alternating series, you do have this good property. If the a n approach to zero, then this alternating series is going to converge here. But be very careful like what we did before. If you just have the regular series, right? Summation a n, you don't have a plus or minus alternating that. Then we know the a n approach to you know, the AN approach to zero is does not guarantee this one is a converge, so, right? Okay, so don't get uh, confused about that. Okay, so let's take a look at the, here, there's some problems here. The problem one, they tell you, they say, hey, it's a summation N from one to infinity and uh, sine N, N is an alternating series. Well, this one is, uh, the answer is no. The reason why is we know the sign for different value of the n sign could be positive or could be negative, right? So, but they are not alternating, right? So the that's why we say overall okay, some terms. Uh, Some terms are positive, others and uh, others are negative. So I know some of them is positive, some of them is negative, but they are what? They are not alternating. 
right? Let's mean they are not one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative, see here, all right? Be very careful, see here, all right? All right, so now let's take a look. It says here, to find that all these series, de determine that if this series is a converging or divergence here. So the first thing is here, you see this negative to the n minus one power. So you know this is an alternating series, right? So because of this, so I know this is alternating. So this is an alternating series. Okay, so after this alternating series, so I know my a n is equal to what e to the m n, right? My a n is uh, so my n here is one of the e n. Okay, and then also I know the a n plus one is equal to what one over the e the n plus one. And uh, because e to n plus one is less than it here, so we know a n greater than a n minus one. So we also satisfy the decreasing, right? So it's a decreasing, see here, like we said here, be very careful, right? A few things here is a decreasing here, right? So the, we talk about the test here, alternate test is a decreasing test. Then every a n greater than zero so here, right? So the a n is greater than zero, it's one over e to the nth power. Now let's take a look, limit n approach to infinity, one over e n, right? So we know the one over e n going to approach to the infinity. So one over infinity, so this approach to zero. Because the a n approach to zero, so I know n from one to infinity e to the n, this is negative n minus one converge. Why? By the alternating, right? So we're gonna, by the alternating series test. Okay. Okay, now let's take a look. The next one's here. Okay, so the next one's here, you see, oh, you see these terms here. So you know this is alternating series here, right? So this is uh, not a alternating series. And then for the A, for the N factorials, right? So if you compare with N plus one factorial, so this one, so this is my a n, right? So this is my a n plus one. So this is not a decreasing sequence. And also the limit, we know the n approach to infinity, the a n is equal to limit n approach to infinity to the n factorial. So correct? So this is does not exist. This go to the infinities, right? So this is does not exist. Right, so what happens here? This is a divergence here. Okay, all right. Now let's take a look at uh, the next ones here. Okay, so the next ones here, this is, uh, you know, the, you know, this is the here, take a look at this is the alternating series so here, right? Now let's, uh, Let's take a look here. If you have the limit n approach to infinity, so this is n to the n plus one. So remember, this one's here is with power one. This is with power one. That means the numerator and the denominator, they have the same exponents. So what is the limit going to here? We're going to approach to what? approach to one here. Because it's not approach to zero, so I know this is a diverge. Why? It's a by the divergent test. Right, because the limit a n, but the divergence test is a limit n approach to infinity, a n is not equal to zero, right? So we know this is the, by the, you know, the diverging test. Okay, now let's take a look at this one's here. The, uh, so the, this one's here, the, let's take a look at this is the, so I see this, uh, 
minus one to the n minus one. So I know this is uh, what this is, uh, you know, this is the alternating series here, right? Okay, so now let's see here. Is this is, uh, okay, so my a, my a n c here, all right? So my a n c here is uh, natural log n to the n so here, all right? So this is natural log n to the n. I want to see is this is the, we know a n has to be a decreasing. Hmm, so how do I find it? So I would say, okay, let's take a look. Let's say the f of x, let's that the f of x function is ln n x over x so here. Now I want to use the first derivative test to see you know, is increasing or decreasing, right? So I can say f prime x, all right? So the f prime x, I use a quotient rule. So this is x squared. And then we have like the one over, so the like a low d highs, right? So it's x times the natural log is one minus x, then minus one times the natural log x. So I'm going to have x squared, and uh, this is one minus the natural log x here, all right? All right, so now in here, so now that you wonder what happens here, right? So why they give us n equal to three here? Okay, so in here, n equal to from the three to infinity here. So for this series, n is greater than equal to three. And uh, so I know I defined this function. So x is greater than or equal to three. And the three is greater than or equal to what? Equal to the, my function e, right? E is 2.7182, uh, 2 something here. So now my f prime x is here, right? So this is x squared, y minus natural log x. Okay, so this one's here, if you plug in like the, you know, like, so if you plug in anything greater than three, greater than, like X is greater than three is here. So if you plug in the F prime X, um, F prime E, right? So if you plug in F prime E, so what is f prime e will be? This is e square one minus what? One minus one is equal to zeros, right? So for the all the x greater than equal to three, then the f prime x is here because then the natural log x will be greater than one. So the f prime x here will be less than what? is less than zero. So that's why I know the first derivative less than zero is what is decreasing, right? So that's why I prove the a n is decreasing. This one's here, we need to be a little bit careful, right? So this one is decreasing. Okay, so now I already show a n is positive and a n is decreasing here, right? Okay, so now the Let's see the alternating test and approach to infinity. This is natural log n, this is n here, all right? So when you approach to infinity, it's infinity over infinity. So what I need to do, let's use the Lohopato's rule. So the Lohopato's rule, so this is limit and approach to infinity. n is one, natural log is one, over n, right? So this is limit and approach to infinity one over n. So that is equal to zero, right? So that's good. So we can say this one's here is a converge, converge by what? By alternating series tests here. Okay, so this one's here is a little harder. So the first thing is here, you need to show this one is a decreasing function so here, right? So that's why I use the, I assign the function as f of x. Then I try to use the first derivative test. I know if the first derivative, we know the first derivative is less than zero is decreasing, first derivative greater than zero is increasing, right? So that is how I 
proof this is decreasing, then because we need to satisfy the conditions, right? The AN has to be decreasing, it has to be positive. Then let's take a look. We take a, you know, we take the, uh, the limit n approach to infinity to the an and the dot, we got the zero. So I know by the alternating series test, now I know, you know, this is a converging series. All right, so this is the first video about the alternating series. So basically we give the definition about what is the alternating series and what is the alternating series test. So remember in here, be very careful, do not confuse with the, what we talked before, the divergent tests here. Okay, so our next video, we're going to talk about uh, how do I estimate, right? So how do I estimate uh, the sum of uh, alternating series, okay? All right, so let's talk, to, you know, let's uh, uh, have a good day and uh, we'll talk to you in our next videos here. All right, okay, bye-bye.